Hey everybody, welcome back. This is part two of the hay trailer repair series. If you haven't watched the first part, be sure you go back and watch it. I'll try to put a card at the top for you. But as you can see, we got our six inch T-channel on the edge, the middle and the other side, and now we're running inch and a half tubing down in there creating a cradle for the hay bales to set in. Y'all make sure if you like what we're doing, you hit the thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell where you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And right here, let me back up where you can get a bigger picture. Okay, where this C channel is at, it's going to go down and tie to the axle. The middle one's already hooked to the axle. And we're going to do the same thing on that C channel. That'll be a little bit further on down in the video, but and we'll show you how we're going to tie the front end. got all the braces and everything put in to hold the hay it's tied to the axle center on both sides show you how we tied the front end there and right there it's tied from side to side down to the center across the front then it goes up to the tube we were going to run two out to each side, but it took up so much room of the trailer. We decided just to go with one in the center. We we'll believe it'll be plenty strong. What we're doing now is we're going around cleaning up all the splatter, getting it ready to shoot a little coat of paint on it.
all righty y'all we've got all of it all the new metals painted black ain't nowhere next to perfect and we had to touch it up right there it was a stress crack there was another one we touched that up with a little bit of green it don't look too bad and should get a couple years of service out of it i appreciate y'all watching and supporting us here at gerald farms make sure y'all give us a thumbs up subscribe ring the bell where you don't miss any of our upcoming videos